St. Joseph's Boys High School aims at providing holistic and pragmatic education in the form of experiential learning. With this aim in mind, the students of class 10 were organized to go out on an outreach. The theme of the program was Reaching the Unreached. To provide the students a foretaste, Father General D'Souza conducted a seminar talking on critical reflection and the harsh realities of the Indian society. We were ready to go on a village five minutes of the hustling town, Anikal, called Gauramma village. Many of the students came to the outreach with multiple preconceived notions. These notions included facts like a hamlet has no electricity, has no proper network and so on. We were all startled as we reached our destination. All the preconceived notions were broken and shattered. We met many of the villagers and asked them several questions. As we spoke to Miss Nayana, she was completely unfazed and answered with wit and intelligence. For example, when we asked her, how do you coexist with people of other religions? She replied by saying, they are our family. They do their work and we do ours. This little hamlet bears the testament to the fact that every village is unique regarding the problems it faces. One aspect we realized was that the children are taught from a very young age to save money. We left feeling satisfied and happy with a new outlook to villages and their problems. our outreach program, SUPW Assessment, we had the privilege to visit a village, Rajamanahalli Dinne, near Anikal. It was an amazing experience. The pleasant weather and the brilliant company of my classmates made it even more special. We were guided around the village by Mr. Dinesh, the village coordinator. We were made to do a few village errands, a little bit of digging, collecting plastic and clearing unnecessary plant growth. We cleared a major part of the village to be frank. We were then led to a number of houses to interact with the local population. Our class interacted with the local families and understood the problems they faced on a daily basis. The lack of bore water due to the presence of the Nilgiri plants that absorb water and the crops they grew in different seasons, which include maize and ragi. Finally, finally, we were led to a community hall where we had lunch prepared by the village folk. I am incredibly grateful for such an incredible, incredible experience and for all the work we did which made us realize what was missing in our urban life. Our father Vishal D'Souza, the primary administrator, and authorities from CRIW, the organization working for women empowerment and which had established a lot of help and educational institutes in the area nearby, addressed us and reminded us of the reason we were present there. That was for our social development and to raise our social awareness, which we ultimately did. The objective of our visit to Kartpur Janata Colony, Anikal, was to understand the occurrence of problems and challenges 
faced by the people in villages and how they impose detrimental effects on the living conditions of the individuals. We were guided by Ms. Lakshmamma who showed us the main aspects of the village. Much like anybody else, we believed going to a village would mean houses made of mud and cattle grazing everywhere around us. But much to our surprise, we saw that the village was quite modern. The houses were painted beautifully with colours and the people of the village were very welcoming and made us feel at home. Due to poverty, we realised how the individuals were experiencing scarcity of resources that are necessary to sustain a healthy life. There were doctors and nurses who were attending to the constant flow of patients and infants coming for their immunisation.